It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. All right, so we are back at Pocono Raceway Driftlot. I did some tandems earlier, and I think we were f***ing killing it, and uh, we're going to try to do some more. On. Pretty sure that's the international sign for I want to grab your boobs. But yeah, this is funny, man. I, I've done a couple of tandems before. But this is the first time I'm getting to do like really consistent tandems like in a row. And I'm pretty psyched, dude. I'm getting some good proximity. Kevin's putting down some really good laps for me to follow. I'm turning around and seeing him on my door. It's good times. Pull us out here real quick. Alright. Uh, since you're everything off with nice and tight. You recording? Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I can't really see you, but. This is a pretty good chunk of the sim drifting crew. We generally run once a week on Thursdays. The uh, IS300 has a bunch of suspension mods and a full angle kit. The Brickyard Z, similar story, just with a mini angle kit. And then there's my car, which uh, we'll do a future video on that because there's a lot. If you're interested. What? If you're interested, I'll follow you. Okay, yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's get food. You want to come or no? Um, yes. Well, I'm going to follow him real quick. You're going to do a couple runs? I'll Probably. Start. <laughs> <laughs> give, us, give us two runs. Okay. Now. <laughs> two runs. Yeah. cold out. Originally I was going to camp overnight, but it's supposed to hit like 40 degrees. So I might bite the bullet and just pay for a f***ing hotel room as much as that sucks. Priceline negotiator. This is not an ad. I don't even know if I'm using Priceline to be honest. I just like the jingle. Hotels motherfucking.com. Feel free to take that. I won't even ask for a royal ticket. <laughs> all right day two i'm not sure how much i caught at the end of the day yesterday but essentially we were originally planning to camp at pocono raceway and then do the second day event and uh it was 40 degrees yesterday super windy and uh the event organizers let us know that for this particular event they were not planning on anyone actually camping so the only spot that we could do it was essentially outside of their grounds so both me and uh, kevin who's the brickyard z that i was doing a bunch of tandems with yesterday we uh, decided to find a hotel and uh settle down for the night not not together just to be clear but i'm gonna 
get my stuff packed back up. Pretty much. Pretty much already done all the camera equipment. But yeah, I'm gonna get it all packed up and uh, head back over to the track. Whereas day one's basically a parking lot event, on day two we get to go on the actual race course. And they have this cool garage area where they allow everyone to pit. So I was just walking through getting some B-roll. I think that's the guy we were talking to? I think so. No, he said he had a blue one. A lot of people buying brand new f***ing BRZs too. I know. I don't know how you guys are sitting out here, it's cold. I can't drive with my steering wheel that much. I'm driving more with the throttle. Well, uh, I'll, I'll do another lap or two, and then uh, I'll, we'll swap out here. Uh... Launch out of here, right? And then you're gonna turn into like you're going a hair turn, and then you're gonna flick the car the other way. Okay, just want me to do some Dukes of Hazzard. <laughs> <laughs> pants like a little bit a little bit <laughs> you want more yeah. yeah i wasn't expecting to get that sideways though because i can't do that in my car really yeah well part, part of that is probably the steering angle Definitely, yeah. The last two times, like I'm pretty confident that I could have made that turn yeah. if I was on that fresh set of tires. No, the rear does feel a little loose, you're right. Yeah. It's, it's just weird being in the passenger seat of It's so car. weird. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. So we're about to push out towards this tire stack and just remember this for later. Oh shit, that was fun. No, your car feels a lot better than mine. I just I thought if I drove it more like mine, like and didn't think about it, yeah. it would be good. Yeah. But uh <laughs> <laughs> something on the last turn of that track i just ran it over it's like it looked like a piece of electronic or a headline i or know on like right here when you're coming back up in the grid yeah no like right right by that that, that last yeah. little tire stack or whatever right, right what the f i hit 
thumbs up to this time. What'd you hit? I hit the tires. <laughs> Was it your thing I just ran over on the track? Probably. What was that? My reverse light. Oh, dude. I, in my last turn of that last session, ran over a big ass hunk of metal and plastic. And uh, I like saw it and I was like, F slow motion, tried to avoid it, did not work. And as it turned out, it was a piece of Kevin's car because he hit a tire stack and his bumper flew off. Well, the event is over, we're packing up. But, uh, I'd say successful weekend. Car stayed in one piece, drifted a load, and uh, maybe convinced Kevin to spend a bunch more money on his car because uh, he really liked my uh, my angle kit. Also met Nick for the first time, who was another guy that uh, I've been doing sim with. He has a green Mustang that unfortunately, on his second lap of the day, blew his transmission. So, sorry for them. Thankful it wasn't me.